Hi everyone, welcome to a new uh, video for Ross Q&A, Ross 2 Q&A now. Uh, my name is Rodrigo and today I'll be answering this question that I found on Ross Answers. In which, uh, it's very simple but it's very useful to use uh, because uh, we're going to be looking at the turtle sim and how you can uh, set it up and running. It's really useful to uh, test nodes on a turtle sim if you don't want to spend this uh, more, more time on a simulation or uh, you know launching and killing a simulation it's, uh, it can take a while so this guy is just not able to move the turtle bot in the, uh, sorry the turtle in the turtle sim uh, so I'm just going to show you how to do that in our platform which is one of the advantages so you we'll, we're going to go to the constructsim.com right here uh, and if you don't have an account, you can create one really quickly. And um, so, yeah, I was saying that the. And then, I'm sorry, we're going to open up a Rostject to create our environment here. So, if you go to my Rostjects here on the left, you can you can click on a create a new Rostject, and then you have all of these distributions, and you can see that we already have Rost to Foxy set up for you so we can call it uh, turtle sim we'll make it private and uh, for the description we can just say turtle sim again whatever you want and just hit create and it's been made right here so you can run it um, so while it's loading let me take you back to the construct sim.com just to show you what we offer here we have um, over 50 robotics related courses uh, where you can come and uh, learn uh, robotics from beginners and you can also do things like robot navigation and machine learning and one of these uh, offerings we have is that you don't have to spend time in the setup or of, of the system which if you know Ross already you'll know that uh, that's probably around half the time uh, of your work so this is a great tool for you to come and learn without having to spend time learning unnecessary things for robotics specifically. So, um, like the turtle sim not running well. So, um, come check it out and um, and yeah, just make an account and start learning, you guys. So we can go back to the Rustject, uh, and we see that this is our turtle sim Rustject. And all we gotta do is very, very simple, is um, launch this command. ROS to run turtle sim, turtle sim node. So we just have to wait a little bit and um, open up this graphical tools button because that is where you'll see the turtle sim. So there it is. You can see it right here. We will so we have it right here. I'm just going to put it in the middle here. Uh, and um, so he would he wasn't able to control it with his keyboard, and that's probably because he didn't remap the. Uh, velocity topic that is offered by the turtle sim. So if we go to a new terminal here and do a ROS2 topic list, you'll see what is being offered by this turtle sim node. And as you can see, we have a pose, a color sensor, and a command bell with a namespace for turtle1. So what um, this user was probably doing was uh, launching the tell up command with just this. So in order to uh, go around that, all we got to do is do a ROS2 run, and I think it's tell up twist keyboard, then tab again, tell up twist keyboard, and then you specify the parameter command vel like this and then you can specify okay I want it to be published 
in turtle one command bell. So now it tells you to use this and you can start moving it around like so. And um, yeah, it's very simple, but with this uh, turtle sim, you can do a lot of testing for uh, mobile robots where you only need to worry about uh, X and Y velocities. Uh, and you can spawn more turtle bots, more turtles, sorry, to uh, simulate more uh, robots. And it's just very useful to use this instead of a simulation if you've done something quickly. Um, oh, we have a warning here. Okay, okay, this is actually interesting. Um, we say we see that the remap rule is now different because this syntax is deprecated. So we should use instead of just command bell. This, I guess we have to use this. So we'll copy here and try it again. I didn't know. I actually didn't know that. So, press to run. Tell up twist keyboard, and then paste that with Ross Arcs remap. Okay, nice. And we don't have that warning again. Um, didn't matter now, but if it's deprecated, maybe in the future it will stop working. So, uh, but it's working now. So. Yeah, that's how you move the turtle sim from the construct uh, without having to worry about setup or whether you installed everything correctly. You have everything ready to go and test your programs. I hope I, uh, this little video was helpful uh, and uh, I hope I see you guys in a couple of weeks for the next uh, Rust 2 Q&A. Uh, all right, bye-bye you guys. Thank you.